Welcome to the Vector Garden. In this quick tip, we're going to take a look at how to set up a perspective grid. And we do not only want to set up any perspective grid, but we want to set up the perspective grid as is present in this photograph. So first of all, we need to find the vanishing points. And in order to find that, what you need to do is follow the lines. Now, there we have a lot of lines in here. We've got the the railroad tracks down here and a lot of things we can follow. Now what's important is to, to follow some that are predictable. So those railroad lines might, might be bent, so we can't use them, but we can use what's in the building. So let's get over here and let's just follow them. And you can use that and just drag a line, make it a long line. And then the next one, like this here, and just make it long. And we need to do some correction on that. So let's just select this point and correct that. It needs to be rather precise, more precise than I will be drawing it here. And also, it helps when that photo is not as distorted at, as this one here. So there's a lot of distortion going on. So let's follow the next lines that we have in here. And then of course, this one and this one here. And you already see that a point emerges in here and the vanishing point is of course where all these lines meet. And it's important to, to have a lot of lines. So the more you have, the better. When you cannot zoom in a lot, so you can later on make longer lines. In here, the smart guides are turned on and when I now select this point and make it longer, then you see it turns pink and that's when I have exactly matched the angle that this line has. So let's do it with the others as well. It turned pink. And then of course, that first line I drew in here. Let's get that and let's see that I can match that. And you see the lines emerge. Now it's important that these are also the horizon lines. So the horizon goes through these two points. Let's just draw it and that matches somehow. So we have found the horizon lines and the two vanishing points and now we can set up the perspective grid. I'm going to first lock that image. It would have been the best idea to, to lock that in the beginning, but I'm doing it now. And now we're going to turn on the perspective grid. So I'm going to select the perspective grid tool. And as we all know, then the perspective grid appears. And the first thing is to set the grid and I'm setting it up here to the bottom line of the photo. And then let's adjust the horizon line to the one that we have and then just move those vanishing points to where we have them like this. And then if I want to draw a rectangle that is exactly where this wall is, then of course move that perspective plane to where the wall is and then drag it there. But I would need to move it a lot. So we will do that differently. Just draw the rectangle and draw it here. That's the wrong perspective plane. I can now press the number three and then we have it here. And let's apply a color to that. And if I want that one to be exactly on that wall, then it has to be moved vertically. So perpendicularly, it has to be moved. In order to do that correctly, I need to use the perspective selection tool and then press the five key and move it to where that wall is. And then it's on the wall. So 
That's how you set up the perspective grid according to a photograph.